welcome to the biology class chapter 2 plant kingdom in this video we are going to learn the types of steel a plant body is made up of different types of tissues we can study the tissues with the help of a microscope if we keep a small slice of a root or stem and observe under microscope we will see the internal structure in this structure the central part forms the steel the steel forms the central part the steel is the central part of root or stem it includes vascular tissues we know that xylem and phloem are the vascular tissues in the steel outer part of the vascular tissues are covered by pericycle at the center pith is present so steel constitutes xylem phloem pericycle and pith pericycle forms the outer part of the steel pith forms the central part now let us see the types of steel there are two major types of steel the primitive one is proto steel another one is siphonous steel in proto steel phloem surrounds the xylem in siphonous steel xylem is surrounded by phloem phloem forms the outer part in siphonous steel and siphonous steel has pith at the center haplostyl is the first type of protostyl in haplostyl the xylem forms the central cylinder xylem forms the central core and xylem is surrounded by a ring of phloem example selaginella in haplostyl the xylem forms a cylinder core xylem forms a cylinder at the center surrounded by a ring of phloem actinostyl star shaped xylem core is surrounded by phloem here there is star shaped central xylem it is surrounded by phloem a ring of phloem surrounds the star shaped xylem example lycopodium serratum plectostyl xylem plates alternates with phloem plates xylem plates alternate phloem plates xylem is arranged in the form of plates here the red color xylem plates are alternate with phloem plates example lycopodium clavatum next protostyle xylem groups uniformly scatter in the phloem xylem groups uniformly scattered in the phloem example lycopodium next protostyle with pith is considered as a connecting link between protostyle and siphonostyle let us move on to the siphonostyle in siphonostyle xylem is surrounded by phloem with pith at the center ecto phloic siphonostyle is the first type of siphonostyle ecto means outer ecto phloic phloem forms the outer part a ring of xylem is found around the pith pith is at the center a ring of xylem is found around the pith in this picture xylem is given in red color and a ring of phloem outside the xylem this is ecto phloic siphonostyle phloem forms the outer part of the xylem example 
Asmiunta Amphibolic siphonostyl Amphi means both The phloem is present on both the sides of xylem Both the sides means both inside and outer part The red color ring is xylem Pith is at the center A ring of phloem is around the xylem Another ring of phloem is inside the xylem ring This is amphiphloic siphonostyl Example Marsilia Let us compare ectofloic and amphiphloic In exo ectofloic siphonostyl phloem forms the outer part phloem is found around the outer part of the xylem In amphiphloic a ring of phloem is inside of the xylem another ring is found outside the xylem selenostyl a third type the stele is perforated at the place or places the stele has openings at a place or places the stele is perforated at place corresponding to the origin of leaf trace leaf trace is at the leaf base this diagram shows selenostyl this is leaf trace leaf trace is at the leaf base leaf trace is a vascular tissue it connects vascular tissue of stem and vascular tissue of leaf from the stem water is transported to the leaf through the leaf trace and from the leaf the prepared food materials are transported to the stem through the leaf trace corresponding to the leaf origin of leaf trace the stele is perforated it has opening that type is called a selenostyle let us see the types of selenostyle ectofloic selenostyle ecto means outer phloic phloem forms the outer part amphiphloic selenostyle a ring of phloem is inside the xylem another ring of phloem is outside the xylem these two types are selenostyle here pith is at the center xylem is surrounded by phloem xylem is surrounded by phloem phloem forms the outer part in amphiphloic selenostyle pith is at the center and the phloem is present on both sides of the xylem phloem is present on both sides of the xylem here leaf trace is present so this is selenostyle these are the two types of selenostyle ectofloic selenostyle example asmiunta amphiphloic selenostyle example adianthum predatum dictyostyle the stele is separated into several vascular strands and each strand is called meristyle this diagram shows three meristyle stele is separated into vascular strands example adianthum capillus enaris eostyle eostyle is present in dicotyledons the stele is split into distinct collateral vascular bundles around the pith pith is found at the center the stele is split into collateral vascular bundles in collateral vascular bundles xylem and phloem are found side by side this is eostyle here in this picture there are five vascular bundles each bundle is a collateral vascular bundle here the red color xylem forms the central part phloem forms the outer part xylem phlo and phloem are arranged side by side so this is collateral vascular bundle these collateral vascular bundles are found around the pith because of the splitting of stele the vascular bundles are formed this is eostyle found in dicot stem 
that we studied in 10th standard atacos tail the tail is split into distinct collateral vascular bundles these collateral vascular bundles are scattered in the ground tissue all the tissues other than outer epidermis and vascular tissues are ground tissue in the ground tissue collateral vascular bundles are scattered example monocot stem here the blue background represents the ground tissue in the ground tissue collateral vascular bundles are scattered example monocot stem polycyclic still the vascular tissue are present in the form of two or more concentric cylinders vascular tissues are in the form of rings one inside and another outside these are concentric cylinders two or more concentric cylinders of vascular bundles are formed example pteridium